Hey everybody, welcome to this new video text press. We're going to be showing you really, really quick how to merge, how to connect your Printful account into your Wex website. There's two things we need to do in order to continue, but it's actually really, really obvious and simple. The very first thing you want to do is to have a Wix account. So what you want to do is to go into the Wix.com, go into the huge get started button, and you can create an account using your email, using your Google account or your Facebook account. In my case, since I already have an account here, what I wanted to do is to try with a Google here. I'm gonna hit into hello. And then later on, it's gonna hit into now sign in. Once you sign into your Wix account, what you wanted to do is to do exactly the same process, but with your Printful account. So I'm gonna hit now into continue. It says one moment, please. Just wait here. Let's go back into Printful. And I'm gonna choose exactly the same account that I'm using to enter here into Wix. I can totally suggest to, to use exactly the same account. If you're using a Google account, you should be using the same for both platforms. It's gonna be a little bit more faster to make the actual merge and connection between both of them. So now that we have now connected your Wix account, what I wanted to do is to go back here into Printful. And as you can see, I don't have a Printful account. So first of all, I need to agree into the Printful terms of service and privacy here. What is your main goal to use in Printful? Let's go for Sarah Online. I'm an artist and I have like no, a lot of media here to ask. I'm going to hit down to sign up and we're actually good to go. So what we need to do now in order to continue is to have an actual website of Wix. Whether you wanted to use a free website or you wanted to use the one that has different plans available into a premium version in here. So that totally depends on you. I don't want to focus a lot in that. Now in here, as you can see, I do have a website into my Wix stores. So if you don't have any website, you can go into the create new website. And it's actually really, really simple to, to do it. So I'm not going to be focusing a lot to how we can create an actual website, but into how we can include the actual store listing products into the actual Wix. So I'm going to hit into edit my site. Take a look here into what do we have available into my Wix, my Wix website editor. All right, so take a look in here. We have the about, the contact section, and the shop version. So if I go, I'm going to go into my page. I'm going to locate my shop and check it out that we don't have like a lot of stuff available in here. What I wanted to do is to add my actual printful stuff. So I'm going to leave this like that. I'm going to go back into the printful and check it out that we have the connect or choose your store platform or to manual order the platform. What we wanted to do is to do the most easy version, which is to choose your platform. And here, as you can see, we can choose a bunch, but truly, truly bunch of applications. We wanted to focus it only into Wix. I'm going to hit into connect now. And now connect the Wix store to the Printful. We have already created our Wix account. And now let's go to step number two, which is connect our Wix into Printful. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and I'm going to hit connect to Wix. This huge red button that says connect to Wix into step number two should be really important. Now, as you can see, I have three websites. What I want to do is to choose the one that I want to import my file with my products in. In my case, is the human website. So I hit into select. Just wait a few seconds there. And what I just need to do is to grant the access between Wix and Printful to allow the managed orders, to manage the products, and to read the basic sites and business information. So I'm going to hit into agree and add. And just like that, my account, my connection should be already been linked. So it says you already have an account. Continue with your. I'm going to hit now into continue. Confirm the connection. Connect the store to my email. This is um, why I just told you that it's really, really important to choose exactly the same account, the same email or Gmail or Facebook or Google account. So this one should be more and more faster. Now, if I go um, into the actual settings section. I'm going to scroll a little bit down. I'm going to hit into stores. Store the file selling preference and debatable. I'm going to hit it now into got it. And now as you can see, it says choose a store. So I uh, have my Wix account already been enabled. So what is left to be done is just to add some products. So I'm going to add a, my first product. So you can see how my product is actually working and looking into my Wix account, into my Wix website. Let's go back into Printful. I'm going to scroll all my way up and let's go for the product catalog. 
Now into this product catalog, what I wanted to do is to create just something easy just to make sure that my actual website is starting to import products. So let's say that I wanted to look out for this one. And now um, I'm going to hit now into create a product template actually because this template is going to be helping me just to add stuff into my printful and later on into the actual Wix. So I'm going to hit into the X mark. I'm going to drop my design in here. So we do have the store file library. In my case, since I don't have anything here, I want to add my own custom new file. It is really important that you choose a PNG file that does not have an actual background cover. Otherwise, it's not going to be looking great, that great actually. So as you can see, I'm going to hit now into open. And then later on, just wait a few seconds there, 100% now. And I hit now into play or apply. Now, as you can see, here is my logo, right? It's actually not looking that bad. And then later on, I'm going to hit now into continue or see all the design layer like this. Put colors, continue. So now the product catalog is black. My logo is not looking that good, but I think it's actually great to have the product, the product template, the technology, the status, the print files, and the sizes. I'm going to hit down to save the product template. And uh, if I go into my templates, I can choose this template to add this directly into the store. So add a product to the store. We have now the product number one. I'm going to choose these two colors. Um, black, I don't think I'm going to be using black at the moment. Proceed to the mockups. And the mockups is going to be like the design of how it's going to be looking my actual basic um, stuff. So I can choose a now, for example. And I wanted to choose, for example, this, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. There we go. Hit nine to continue once again. Here are the details, the product title, the description, the benefits, and the product categories. You can edit all of these elements if you wanted to. In my case, since all of these elements was added automatically, and the actual description of the actual um, product is actually looking great, I don't think I needed to change anything, but maybe the product title, for example, long sleeve Peter Crew, uh, humans. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Now, here to continue and then check it out the revenue. If I import the actual price, let's say, for example, that this is the actual print for price plus the revenue at the end of the day, I'm going to be earning uh, this amount of money. So uh, I'm going to scroll a little bit down. If I'm okay with this, just hitting to submit to store, adding the new product to your store. So what I want to do now is to go back into my Wix section. I can reload my page of the dashboard of course and then later on i can go directly into my products that are available into wix so i just want to make sure that my product has now been listed into my wix account and as you can see now we do have this product already been enabled into our stuff into our into our store it says inventory in stock this is the price and the type so if i reload the page I should see now that I have my actual product enabled from Printful into our actual Wix. So as you can see, this is how I can do this. It's not looking that bad. There you have it, guys. So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. It's actually looking really, really great. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Have lots of fun.